hello YouTube and welcome to my first part of the Let's Play Bus Driver. Basically, this is a game where you drive buses and deliver people and just drive well. Make sure you follow all the rules and stuff. There's a lot of different routes you can take in the game and it just takes place in a big city with a bunch of buses you can drive and it's pretty fun. Yeah, if you can hear this menu music, it sounds alright. This game was developed by SCS Software, I just want to point out, which made pretty good games, I guess. A lot of simulator games. And they're pretty good at it, so not much disappointing here. And for 2006 standards, the graphics look pretty nice. I mean, and it runs pretty well. Well, obviously, because I'm recording, the FPS is like cut in half. I normally play this game around 70 FPS. So now we're going to do the first level, which is just a basic tutorial, you could say. And the controls are kind of annoying in this game, you really have to just test them out before you really think you can play this. Okay, so first, break. Oh, how the hell do you do the break? Okay, here we go. So do all your flickering lights stuff. What? Okay, that was kind of a fail. Whatever. Okay, so I use the blinkers and you get extra points for doing that. And you got and if you see like you got your speedometer which is in miles per hour, not exactly my thing. And then you break the bus. And you stop, open your doors by pressing enter, let all the people in, and close your doors and drive off. And what's funny is that there's no speed limit in this game. I mean, you can drive at 60 miles per hour on like a highway. I mean like like in the city of normal here. Yeah, make sure you don't. Okay, I'll tell you like all the penalties in this game. So if you fail to use your blinkers, you cross like red lights while whatever. If you crash, drive in the wrong direction, or basically you drive off road, and if you brake too hard, all these things just add up to your penalty. And also, yeah, if you leave early on a bus stop before the everyone gets in, you also get penalized. So yeah, and what else should I say? Oh yeah, if you see a clock down there that says minus, basically what that is is just telling you how early or late you are. Make sure to break and going pretty fast. Okay, we have arrived at the aquarium, the swimming pool, whatever. Okay, everyone gets out, just like whatever. And then we go. And then it calculates your points like you think it would. Driving bonuses, your penalties, whatever, everything. Gives you a score, and then you write it down. And that's about it. You go back. And I really, I don't want to ace all the missions. That would take too long, so. Yeah, so I'm just going to do, like, the missions and just hopefully just do as best as I can. Okay, so now we're going to the second mission, which you drive a different bus on a different route. This one is also considerably longer and a little bit more difficult because you have more like traffic lights to stop at, and more, more like um, cars to not crash into. Oh yeah, and also I forgot to mention if you leave the if you leave the first bus station before that timer hits zero, you'll get penalized because you left too early. You have to keep on schedule. Better late than early. I don't know why. I guess this game is just trying to be realistic, which it actually is pretty good at. The buses handle nicely, although they all feel pretty the same, but the buses handle nicely. Um, they, they feel real, and the sound sounds are nice. Oh, come on, every time, because, because first you have to, like, you know, you're turning left, but then you forget to use your blinkers on the... when you're changing lanes. I don't know, I don't know, I guess the game is confused when it comes to that. So whatever, did I lose or skin points? We try and break. Try not to break too hard here, and then stop. And the closer you actually manage to stop in perfectly in that rectangle, the better more point more points you get. So if you stop like perfect, spot on, then yeah. Just, and every time you use your blinkers, the mirrors come up. It's pretty nice. Okay, so break. 
What's annoying is that the, is that the camera goes down when you're like stopped, so you can't see the lights, but you can sort of see like the glow. It's really helpful, actually. Let's wait for that to go green, which shouldn't take too long. There we go, and then turn. Yeah, I don't know why, but this game just seems really fun to play. Alright, perfect. Like, I'd say give this game a try. I mean, I got it on a disc that, with like three other games, is called All Aboard. But what's really funny is that the trains game I got with it was just a demo you could download off the internet, so I'm like, just pissed off, you couldn't do anything. And the ship simulator I got with it just doesn't work. So then I realized that I had ship simulator, like the gold edition of the same game. And I installed that, and it works perfectly. So I'm just thinking, oh, come on, man, you get me off. I paid like $20 for it, too. So basically, I paid $20 for this, but after all, this this is the main game. This is what I wanted out of it, because I really enjoy this game. You might not, but I do. Well, I suggest everyone to give this game a chance, because it's great. Not, okay, fine. It's not great, but it's good. And also, for you people out there, it doesn't require that good of a computer. Although, like to play on highest, it requires a pretty medium high spec computer. Like I'm using it on the HP right now, and it's running pretty smooth while out recording. It's even running pretty decent while recording. So yeah. So I suggest a pretty okay laptop. Or a desktop, to any desktop will run this game. But laptops, you better be a little cautious about it. Although I managed to play it on some Pentium, so you have no, you shouldn't have any problems. Alright, not last stop. This man, this is a really long one. Alright, close the doors. Even the even the door sound effects are perfectly realistic. I mean the, those door sound effects sound just like the bus I take on every day. There. Okay. Alright, so, and after a while, you actually get to drive, like, coach buses and stuff, so that's pretty awesome. Yep. Okay, so actually, actually, if you manage, if you manage to get minus score on the thing, it doesn't, you, you don't actually pass it. Instead, it doesn't unlock the next tier for you, you have to at least get a positive score every time. But some people are so bad at these games, so... Uh, yeah, they might suck. Look at this. This turn is really sucky. Look, look what you have to do here. It's kind of hard to keep in your own lane. I mean, it's not that hard, but it's kind of hard. So, yeah. Driving. Driving on the road. Okay, if I have two complaints... Oh, no. I might... Oh, shit. Oopsies. That was pretty crappy. Um... If I have a couple complaints with this game, um, it's just that there's not enough missions. There's only 30 missions, and you can complete them in, like, what, 3 hours or something? And that's not very long, but, yeah. Um, also, I forgot to mention, um, you can see, like, the people on the bus, like, their status, how happy they are, and right now they're super duper happy. I don't know how happy you'd be on the bus, but whatever. Whatever. <laughs> No accidents for a mile. But no crashes. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, man, I hate being in front and behind the traffic. Oh crap, this is a stupid idea. Yeah, this is a really... Oh crap, how am I going to do this? Here we go, we're driving like, I don't know, like whatever that movie's called, Speed. Except there's no crazy jump. Yeah. Okay, another another thing I have with this game is since it's sort of like a simulator, there's no first person view. It's kinda lame. Actually, this is the only view in the entire game. Man, I just realized how long is this long? Oh crap, 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 crap. Thank god for that mirror, otherwise that, that fire truck would have plowed right into me. So it's right. Stop. <laughs> So for every let's play I'm doing, I'm gonna do it on each tier, and the let's play might be like really long, but there's only gonna be five of them. Okay, so here we go. 
Yeah, everyone's freaking out, blah blah blah, I beat the mission, so what? This is actually a pretty long mission. This is, I think, the longest tier 1 mission. Alright, so next we're gonna do the next one, which is a bus towards the airport. And even, like, it has a description, whatever. Okay. The passengers are your customers. Yeah. Well, kinda don't own the business, but still you commanded the bus, so what am I doing? Okay, yeah, this bus is different, and it's kind of old looking. Oh, oh, see, I told you. Now watch this. Okay, so make, yeah, see, that time it didn't penalize me for uh, using the wrong blinkers for some reason. But whatever. I think this is the route where you can go really fast, because there's like a big downhill, you'll see, I'll show you. This is a nice highway. <laughs> yeah, nice. Okay. Dude. Watch this. 50 miles per hour. It's pretty fast for a bus. <laughs> and there's a car ahead. I don't want to crash into it. And, you and if you're going to go this fast, which you probably are, you really want to slow down. Like, because, yeah. When you get close to the bus stop, slow down. Yeah, I might... This game might look easy, and it is pretty easy, but you have to be a pretty good driver. Oh, what? What happened? What happened? Oh, I left early? It didn't tell me. Next? No, it... it the top thing didn't tell me. Maybe I didn't, maybe it was too fast or something. Anyway, keep driving. Man, wouldn't the people be more, like, nauseated by the way I'm driving? I mean, like, you're turning around a corner like that at 40 miles per hour? Yeah, I think they'd be falling under their seats. Passengers happy for a mile. Yeah, this is cool, look at this. There's like a cop that pulled over a truck. Except nothing is really going on, it's just a thing they put in. Okay, we have two more stops after this. The next stop is the airport. Okay, slow down. Ah, I might overshoot it a little. Ah, shit. You know, that really sucks when you overshoot it and get the, and get the breaking penalty. That's just, that's just a sucker. Not doing so good. Yeah, timetable not followed. I'm losing points. I really am. I'm not doing so good. Because I'm a bit too fast. See, there should be speed limits in the game. Otherwise, stuff like that won't happen. Because now I'm really early. But then again, for my... Like, my my following timetable thing score, I will be better. Come on, is it gonna turn green? Should I, should I just say time is money? Lol, time is money. Well, it is. Come on, we can do this. Yeah. <laughs> time is money. Screw the red lights. And one thing about this game is that it's keyboard friendly. So if you don't have a mouse with you and you're on the road or something, that's good. Every game should have that option where you just, like, it's mouse friendly. I mean, keyboard friendly. You don't have to have a mouse to play the game. Not many games like that. We're off, well, after all, this is a driving game, so you know, who needs a mouse? Unless you're going to control the car with a mouse, which is kind of awkward. That was kind of a fail. Oh yeah, and I also forgot to mention, if you open the doors while driving, you also get pen penalized. Whatever. So how on time was I? Definitely on time. I think, you know what, the passengers should be more happy that I'm early. Well, actually their happiness doesn't get affected. See, look, my on time bonus was pretty high. Yeah, a few penalties. Definitely not the best I've ever done in this game. But that's not the problem. 
Okay. Next route. All right. Is the yeah this this is the one where you face bad weather. Yeah. I don't know when you ever get to drive this. I never got far enough. I only got to tier three, like the middle of tier three. So yeah, let's do this. Now it's raining, and I love this. Yeah, by the way, you can break as hard as you want right here. Yeah, because there's nobody inside, so you can Yes, yeah, this is your typical bus. Okay. This time we're doing this. What? No points? Okay. I think my, my, uh, I don't know. This would have been actually really cool if you could have, like, made your own levels, you know? Or maybe imported your own city or something. That would have been awesome. And you could, like, somehow import your own buses too. And have, like, a bus route from your city. That would have been so cool. Well, I don't see how this bad when it really affects stuff. I mean, the only thing I really see it uh, affecting is the braking. Alright, I don't think we're gonna make this. I'm just gonna stop. Yep. So, yeah, all I see is it really affects your braking and the visibility. But the visibility isn't really a problem because you can steer out of the way. Yes, your bus is like a Ferrari. It has amazing turning. Green light bonus. You know what would be really cool in this game if there was if there was cops, you know? So like if you were going too fast or did something like a red light, the cop could get you. And if they got you, which they probably would, come on, your bus isn't that fast. You would if depending on like the crime or whatever, you'd get either arrested or ticketed, and that would waste time and points. That would be awesome. I was kind of fail. All right, almost perfect stop. I wish like the I wish there was animations for the people walking in, but yeah, whatever. That's not a big issue. I mean, whatever. Man, the smoking is like. Affecting FPS. Smoke particles. Okay. We're late. Not by a whole lot. You know, you can be late in terms of bad luck. If there's like a lot of traffic ahead of you. And then, because the green... There's so much traffic ahead of you that you miss the green light. And you just waste time. You know what's cool? There's even that sort of like double light thing. Oh, no! Mm. Oh my god, I lost like a shit ton of points. Holy shit. Oh my god. Wow. Okay, anyway. Look at that, has that. That's pretty awesome. And I don't see the point of it. Because if you did a crash, you'd still be able to get out of it, right? I think. And I'm gonna slow down because there's a red light up ahead. Oh, never mind. So this is going to in an in intersection. There's only one person in the bus. That was pretty shitty, I can tell you. Like, it's annoying. I mean, in real life, people leave the bus first, then they enter it. I mean, that's pretty uh, common sense. I mean, it's friggin' general knowledge. And in this game, it's the opposite, which is mental. Maybe it has something to do with the people in the city. Maybe it's a North American thing. I don't know. I've never been on a bus in a North American town. Ah, crap. I missed it. God damn it. This has never happened. I'm serious. This has never happened. I just wasted a lot of time by doing 360. Crap. I'm make sure don't crash into that thing. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, 14 people. That was bad. Oh, Lord. Yeah, some people are like, yeah, whatever, you did bad. <laughs> that was horrible. Oh, my God. Only silver. Big deal. 
well, crap, I forgot to record the damn thing, so I'm gonna have to do it all over again. But so what, this mission's cool. And look, that's the exact same bus, but a different route, so. Lame. Okay, we're driving. The FPS is really crapped up. What the hell happened? Oh, whatever, it's still playable. Why did the FPS go down to 14? What happened? Well, as long as it's playable, I mean, whatever. But the FPS is really bad now. There we go. Oh, and then it goes up again. What was happening in the background? Okay, we made it. They give you two and a half minutes to get to that station. I don't think that's enough. I mean, it really depends on the weather conditions. I mean, it's just pretty poor, actually. But whatever. And also, this is a three axle bus. And three axle buses are just badass for unknown reasons. Sometimes, I don't know why, but I like to hit that curb because it just gains speed. Proper indicator usage. I like that. I don't know why, but it's so cool having like that display up. It's kind of like a bus where you have like the next stop thing. Okay, I hope I can make this. So otherwise, I'm going to waste a huge amount of time. We're going to do it anyway. We're going to risk it. Oh! Did I? What? It didn't count. Yes! Better, better nothing than penalty, right? Yeah. Okay, this time we're gonna try and pass the traffic because last time when I didn't record this, I didn't manage to pass the traffic because the bus is too slow. We're gonna go to the middle, try and gain enough speed. Okay, look at that. And I and I just mentioned when I didn't record that. A lot of the cars resemble real life cars. I can't really recognize that uh, car beside me right now. But the car up ahead kind of looks like that um, Toyota RAV4. Maybe not. Maybe. It kind of looks like a Chevy Tahoe. Mm, mix? You could tell me. And then we have more cars up ahead. Even, look at, even the car models are really nice. You, there's even a person inside the car. You know, that's pretty good for a simulator, you know? Even, oh, look at this bus broke down. I didn't notice. Look at this bus, man. It's so slow. I can't believe it. Come on. We got a big-ass bus that's meant for, like, doing 120 on, like, country roads. And it can't even do it here. Whatever. Okay, we're getting off. And do you make the bus time limit? Pretty much. No indicator usage there. Alright, I mentioned my last. I mentioned before when I didn't record that this is a good break from all those shooters and games, even Minecraft. Yeah, it's fun to play every now and then. But yeah, Vista Glacier. We made it pretty much on time. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah, I told you. Yeah, what? Not as good as my previous one? Okay, whatever. Not as good. By like 10 points, so it's not that big of an issue. Okay, this is my last bus thing until the next episode, so... This is another sort of like suburb route, or route, whatever. So yeah. Alright, let's do this. Okay, so we don't initially start off at where we're supposed to. Oh, Jesus. What? No blinker indication thingy there? Whatever. Okay, I don't know why I really like these suburb routes. They're fun. Spur <laughs> take a break from the country and take a break from the city driving and just drive in a place where people live. Really nice place. Is that like a perfect stop or what? Okay, barely anybody on here. Okay, red light. Okay, what now? Come on, go green. There we go. Oh shit. <laughs> oh my god, I thought I was gonna crash there, but. Yeah, this game has suspension physics. It's not like when you crash into like, like, 
a sidewalk that's like a centimeter higher than the road. It's gonna crash. So yeah, I think they put a good amount of effort into the game. They made a nice vibrant city with decent graphics. I mean, the city doesn't look that great, but the car models and everything else does. The city looks decent, but some of like the trees and stuff look like shit, but whatever. Look at this, look at, look at the view of this. Do, do, Okay. Red light, let's hope you get the green when I get there. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe just turned red, so it's kind of bullshit. Okay, let's go. Hiding the stations four more. All right. Three bonuses in like two seconds. That's good. Sign of a good driver. Now we're on the highway. Sort of highway. Ah oh, crap, traffic. Watch, watch him cut me off because he's, he's gonna cut me off. Nope. No? Be nice today. Oh my god, there's a huge pile of traffic. I'm glad I don't have to go straight. Oh my god, we're going fast, we're going fast. Try, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cheese so I can make it. But the problem is I'm gonna go so fast on that turn, it's bad. Uh, I was risky, but I did it. Oh, I was risky, but I did it. Still have a couple stations left. Here it is, right up here. Slow down. Bus positioning bonus. Yeah, see, sometimes the people like to like go in first, then leave. Makes no sense. Look at all these ads. It's like it's all about the website. Yeah. Play games. Somebody's hand can get chopped off. Uh, bus driver. They should make a bus driver too. With a real city in it. Real buses. Yeah, because the buses in this game are fake. But they all resemble real buses. It's pretty obvious. Look at this. 50 miles per hour down a road like this. Man, real life would get pretty caught. That's like... 90 kilometers per hour. Yeah, you get caught on such a road like this. But the sense of speed in this game isn't really there. I mean, come on, this is a bus game you expect. Oh, oh, we're gonna have to back up. Big deal. I mean, it's not a huge issue. We wasted time, though. That's my biggest issue. Quite a few people waiting there. And we leave, and we are a little bit late. Oh my god, look at this huge traffic. It's like the main street, man. We're, we're hitting the main street. I, I haven't played this mission in a while, so this is quite a good mission. Lengthy mission. Alright. A lot of traffic. Whatever cars are being parked there, I mean, come on, shouldn't that be illegal? Seriously, on the main street? You have to, like, tap the braking. 60! That was amazing. That was a 60 bonus, that's crazy. You can easily get crashed. Do, do, do. See, I'm already late, and probably because of the mistake I did back there. But now we're at the bus terminal, so it shouldn't be a problem. Unless you're catching something, and you have, and you decided to wait for the late bus, then you're stupid because I'm a little late. So you catch something like perfectly timing. Well, it's a little too bad. You got 30 seconds late. All right, here we go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Bus number eighty-three. Passengers transported. On time bonus. Driving bonus. Perfect. A lot of points, man. All right, and this concludes the let's play.
part one, which is really lengthy. But that's it for now, guys, and see you on part two.